Good morning everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video but I've been suffering with my foot again. So I've come to one of my uh, local lakes and today is just about catching anything. I'm here nice and early, daybreak and uh, as you can see it's absolutely superb. Uh, it's going to be another warm day again. It was a chilly night last night. It was only one degree so there's a bit of uh, frost on the car so it might be a bit slow to start with. We're going to give it a three hour session before it gets too hot because it was like 18 yesterday so uh, hopefully we're going to catch uh, a few fish a few roach maybe some perch I've got some worms with me maybe the odd early tench carp any fish will do today because uh, I haven't been for a couple of weeks because I've been suffering with my foot but uh, hopefully we're going to get some nice fish today so uh, let's unload the gear and uh, let's get down onto a peg and see if we can catch fish Right, so the first thing we do at the uh, at the fishery, it's a good thing to point out because some fisheries do have them, uh, you have to dip your nets before you start fishing to get rid of any viruses that are actually on your nets. So like if you've been fishing the river or if you've been fishing in another canal or something like that, it might have a virus on. So, just leaving my nets in this, uh, in this dip, making sure to get rid of all the viruses because I have been down the river, it's now closed but uh, we'll leave them in there for uh, 20 minutes while we go set up and then uh, hopefully yeah, we can go and catch some fish Right, so this is my chosen swim. I do like this swim because you don't need to go very far out to catch fish. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fish just down there. And what I'm going to do is I've got some, some hemp. I'm just going to put a few handfuls of hemp just down there, see if we can get some uh, some roach or some other fish going. That's enough there for now. Hopefully, we might be able to get uh, to get some fish. But you can see the cloud it makes in the water as it's going down, and of course, hemp is very oily. And hopefully, that's going to attract some tench and some carp, maybe some bream into the swim. We've got these ones in the swim already. They're here to see me. They know I've got me bread. But uh, we'll try bread first and see what happens. Then I've got worms. Look at all these lot. I don't know, I hope you're not too annoying. Don't mind them though, I'm the only angler on the, uh, on the particular lake. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of bread on. There's my piece of rod there, look. And we're just going to lower it down onto the marginal shelf and see if we can get a bite from anything so I'll just rest my rod just on there there we go and wait and see if we get any bites because we do have a a nice marginal shelf on there it's probably around about four to five feet and we do get fish coming from this bush all the way around here and down the side here you know the margins are very underestimated most people head towards the island I mean it is very good the island but uh, I do love me margin fishing better and I do, do love uh, using the float as well as most of you know but when you've got this many ducks in the swim I'm hoping to calm down a bit 
They probably haven't seen an angler for days. But we'll see, we'll see. And of course it's early spring and uh, they're getting very feisty. Mating season. But we'll see. Got one here, look. <laughs> you little terrors you are, aren't you? Hey. Right, we've changed, we've got nothing on the bread, so we're switching to a little worm. See if, if I can entice one of these big rough. Because there are some big rough in here. And of course you've got the perch as well. So, fingers crossed we'll get a bite. I was on the bread about 20 minutes. I uh, didn't get anything. So let's see if we can entice a, a Tommy Ruff. I haven't had one of those uh, little mini species for ages. So it'll be nice, we've still got the ducks. But I'm not feeding them, so I think they're losing interest, which is good. Yeah, just leave it down there for a while. Every now and again, twitch it. See if that'll produce a fish. You never know, I might even get a big perch too. Oh, we just got a bite there. It was only a slight bite, but it was a bite. There are little tiny perch in here too. There's plenty of them about. Well yeah, I wouldn't mind a rough, it'd be quite nice. Obviously, you know I am using strong tackle because we have got some huge carp in here to nearly 30 pounds and if I hook one of them I don't want to lose it. That's why I'm using a, a size 6 hook. Mind you, we've got some big tension here as well to eight pound. I mean, if I was fishing in open water, I maybe wouldn't need a, a hook that size, but because I'm fishing in the margins and there's quite a few snags, I want a good hook hold on the fish. So I've opted for the, uh, the bigger hook. You see, just move it, just up and down, the worm's still on there, it's lovely, we've had a little touch on it, not exactly sure what that would have been from, maybe a perch or something, Right, we'll just leave that as is for now. Ah, the blue tits are having a go, making a nest. It's nice to see. He keeps poking his head out, having a look at me. Well, I'm getting very tentative bites, they're only tiny, 
Uh, I think they're probably small perch. Uh, I've been here roughly about an hour now. And I've maybe had about six bites. It was cold last night. But, yeah, it's taking them a bit to get going. Yeah, even with the worm I thought I'd get some really confident bites. But uh, it's not happening yet. But it's nice to be out. You know, I haven't been out in a couple of weeks because of my foot. But, uh, yeah. You know, it, w it would be nice to end the day with a specimen rough. I know they're in here because I've had them before. But only time will tell. Like I say, it's only going to be a, a short session today. Three hours. Which is all is required. And... Yeah, I just hope I catch a fish, it'd be nice. It's nice to see the bites, but it's also nice to have a fish. But well, everything's just starting now, you know, being spring. It's nearly April. So... These ducks are enjoying my company. They're having one or two pieces of bread. So... Yeah, nice morning, it could be worse. Could be windy as hell, could be stormy. And here we are fishing and it's a beautiful morning. Right, so armed with the pole, we're just gonna put again, just to the margins. I've got a red maggot on there. I've got white and reds. Oh, oh, that was a good fish. Bite straight away there. I felt him and then he uh, he bumped off. Now I'm not quite sure exactly what it was, but you never know in here. But my aim is to catch any fish today. I like fishing the uh, the pole in the margins for. Uh, Oh, we've got a fish here. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that was. I think it was a perch. Right, so we're getting a few bites now, which is good. Like I said, a few days ago, the big stuff wasn't really feeding. And uh, I'd rather have a, a bite from a small fish than sit all day and have nothing and it's looking very promising because we've had a few fish so what we'll do is we'll keep them interested by feeding a few more maggots and see if we can draw some gudgeon in and maybe some rough Well, it's a fantastic morning for it. It really is. Because it's been bright over the past couple of days and uh, that's put a bit of warmth into the lake. And uh, they should start moving soon. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll have a go for the big stuff. But today... I'm just targeting, hopefully, the uh, mini species. So, if you don't get a bite, oh, let's let's just check that because I'm not ex entirely sure it's uh, kosher. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that maggot had been completely sucked so let's put a new maggot on there we go let's go back in the margins and see if we can catch another fish yeah you're not going to catch anything when the, uh, the there we go look at that straight away and what is it 
It's a perch. Come on, Mr. Perch. You can always rely on these fish. There he is, look. Mr. Perch. Angry Perch. Let's put him back in. There you go, Mr. Perch. That's lovely. Right, we'll ship it back out there again. So that's nice. Little perch to start, start the session. And we'll see if we can get anything else. Oh, this is a better bee. Oh, oh I think this is a roach, this one. I think it is a roach. It's a nice roach as well. Not be careful with this one. There he is. Oh, he's a beautiful roach. There we are. Just hooked in the lip. Beautiful fish, that one. Right, what I like to do is put them back gently. Just in the side there. There we go. Lovely. They are a bit slimy, but uh, never mind. That's nice, we're uh, getting a few fish feeding now. Let's check the maggot. Yeah, maggot's still fine. So we can go back out there again. There we go. Back into the marginal shelf. And see if we can get anything else. I'm hoping we do get a gudgeon, because I love gudgeon. We've got some worms as well that we can cut in half. Uh, see if there's any rough about. But for the minute we'll uh, we'll stay with Maggie. Because we're uh, getting a few bites. Far more than last time. You know. The, uh, the big stuff were really feeding, so we'll put some more loose feed out there. We'll put some more maggots out there. There we go. Keep them interested. It's a nice way of fishing, to be fair. I do like watching the float. You know, and the mini species, you know, does get neglected. You know, even though they don't grow very big, you know, up to about five ounces. But there are some clonking gudgeon in here. And rough. You know, I'm just hoping that uh, we get one today. Oh, the ducks are back. He does like to have a chance, does this duck? Oh, just had a little nibble there. It was a little tiny nibble. Maybe uh, I should have left it a bit longer, but uh, there we go. nice that we're getting a few bites and then my uh, me rud campaign can start and my tench campaign oh, we're getting a little bit of drizzle now too hopefully it won't be too bad
come on, where's them gudgeon? I'd like a gudgeon, please. That roach was nice though. Nice condition. You can always rely on the good old perch and roach to have a bite. Just caught this perch here, look. And look at that, absolutely fat, full of spawn. It's that time of year again. But what an absolute fatty for a perch. It's only about, probably about five or six ounces. But look at, look at the belly on that. Away you go, little fella. What a fatty! Right, so we'll ship that back out there. Just in the margins. Yeah, we're getting a few bites now on maggots, which is good. You've got to uh, try and keep them interested. Yeah, there's plenty of roach kicking about, which is good. It's quite nice because I do like to fish these margins because they do get underestimated and you can catch a lot of good fish from them. Yeah, after a couple of minutes if you don't seem to be getting any bites, what I like to do is just lift the bait up and put it back down again because it might have buried itself down deep inside the silts or got covered in leaves and the, uh, the fish can't see it. There we go. What is it? I think it's a, it's a perch. There we go, we've got another perch. Quite nice. There we go. Not the biggest fish in the world, but it's a nice perch. Perfect. <laughs> right, let's put him back. Right, we'll go back down in the margins again. See if we can hook anything. Oh, there was a bite straight away there. <laughs> well, this is better than uh, watching a float do absolutely nothing. It's just nice to see a float going under and uh, us getting a few bites like that. Oh, we've got another. We've got another roach. I'll just swing him in. There we go, clamp him nicely. There we go, another beautiful roach. Away you go little fella. Yeah, it won't surprise me if uh, there is some big perch in here. We'll put on another maggot. It's always best to have a, a fresh maggot on. There we go. Let's go back out there again and see if we can get another bite. Oh, we are doing well this morning. Look at that straight away. Absolutely straight away.
So we've had uh, roach and perch at the minute, but you never know when the other species will turn up. And again, there we go. And again, we've got another fat perch. It's the smallest perch that I've ever seen, but it's fat as hell. I mean, take a look at that. Another fat perch. What a fantastic fish. <laughs> right, let's put him back. There we go. Well, uh, sadly no more fish, so that's uh, me done for the day now. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. And we'll be out again very shortly doing a few more videos. But at least we've had a few fish today. Some nice roach and some nice perch. I just love uh, watching the float go down. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.